What's up, strong friends? It has been an awesome Monday. I hope your week is starting off right. Our weekly focus, head on over to the board. It's backwards. No guilt for eating non-optimal foods, plus daily healthy movement. I've already been asked a couple times, how do I approach Thanksgiving? And I think that the intention is great that you want to make better decisions to keep yourself on track through the holidays for all the work you've been doing prior to the holidays. But what I definitely think might be a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a growth process when it comes to how we approach holidays is taking away the value of the holiday from our friends and family and our social life. Now, if you have a very strict goal and you're going to be on stage for something, you have to be at exact body fat percentage, then you may have to make those sacrifices. But I think when you have a general goal for fitness, that fitness is more dimensional than just inches and weights on a bar. Um, it's the fitness, uh, you know, a healthy of your entire life, including how you feel mentally and spiritually about things. And the last thing I want to do is, is have someone feel guilty for something they have eaten when they have already and should have enjoyed that food. So if it's part of your plan to have a little bit of adjustments and some leeway, especially during the holidays, then that's just part of the plan. There's no need to feel guilty about that decision. What you really want to do is you want to be, you know, thankful, right, Thanksgiving, but you want to be appreciative of the food you're eating and appreciative of the people that you are around while you're eating that food. That's the value of the holiday, right? So you shouldn't feel guilt from eating something that's a non-optimal food. Pie is fantastic. It's delicious. Am I, am I going to feel guilty for having a piece of pie? No, right? So take a clear, take a really, like, some time to think about that and think, you know what, I'm really just going to enjoy the food. I'm going to enjoy the people I'm with. More than likely, you probably won't overeat that much anyways because... If you're just really enjoying the quality of the food and not just stuffing your face, or hey, if you like to stuff your face, stuff your face, right? But it's a holiday. I keep hammering this in. Enjoy the people you're around and enjoy the food you're eating because it's delicious and you should be appreciative of that time and those people, right? Now, if I had to say something, if you were really concerned about it, I'd probably take a couple approaches. Intermittent fasting. Um, is an easier way, easy way to kind of mitigate total calories for the day. So say you normally eat breakfast and you know you're going to have multiple Thanksgivings or you're going to have multiple meals. Well, just take out the breakfast and that way you can kind of like move a little bit of the calories over. I'm not a calorie person and I don't think that's something you should be worrying about. Um, again, if it's going to create more stress to stay at breakfast, then don't worry about it. Just have a nice, you know, control what you can, and then go and have your good meals. The second thing I would do about Thanksgiving is I would make sure that whatever you put on your plate, just make sure there's something that's a vegetable. So try to get some sort of salad or try to get some sort of greens along with all the other delicious food because we still can't forget that we definitely need all the nutrients from food. Um, and I don't know how many nutrients are in pie, but I'm going to need all of those nutrients, that's for sure. Um, and then the healthy movement, daily movement, I think it's just good for our bodies because sometimes we feel a little groggy when we haven't worked out for a few days or we've eaten non-optimal food or traveling in the car a lot. So get down, kneeling positions, wall slides, kind of roll around, some naked get-ups, some hip lifts, and just move your body. Be nice to it, right? You only got one for a long time. So be nice to your body, move around. And, you know, I think this is fantastic too, is take that opportunity with friends or family or someone you haven't been around with. And after Thanksgiving meal, go for a nice easy walk and catch up. Get out of the crazy of the house for a little bit. And just move around. Your body will appreciate it and your mind will appreciate it. So, focus of the week. Detach guilt from non-optimal food. Check in with me. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you have any really good pie recipes, let me know that too, because I won't cook them, but I'll come eat them. Mm? Mm? Um, December daily doses, sign up to email on the website, full month of free content, stuff to help you out, stuff like this, workouts you can do at home, workouts you can do at the gym, you know, helpful tips on how to hold a kettlebell and just all sorts of stuff. 
It's going to be a ton of great content, all free. Go to the website, put your name in there, and we're going to send you out an email every day, every day of December. And you can see me and Danielle and Kevin, and we're going to have a good old time. Deuces.